seems to me that the world is now gradually beginning to understand that the mouth is connected to the body and that it is necessary for us to pay attention to people's teeth, that if you have problems with your teeth, it can affect your whole body in extremely unpleasant and unhealthy ways. So anything that we can do to make dental benefits available to as many people as possible, I am firmly in support. For individuals who wind up being treated in an emergency department for dental problems, the bill on average is $6,498. Those individuals who receive treatment in a preventative capacity in a dentist's office, it would be $660. So we're looking at ten times the cost of an individual being treated in an emergency room as opposed to receiving a preventative capacity. The major problem with dentists accepting mass health, and what this bill proposes is that the Executive Office of Health and Human Services will develop a plan to index the child and adult dental fee schedule to the 75th percentile of the six million states. And it would not go into effect until January 1st of 2013. At least it has a plan, and hopefully it will be successful in terms of recruiting additional dentists and reducing the problems we have in terms of access to care. Oral disease is caused by bacteria. And we all know if you don't treat a bacterial infection, it can really get out of hand. That can occur with oral health also. There's also a growing body of research that shows that poor oral health can have poor outcomes for other significant diseases, such as heart disease, stroke, diabetes, pancreatic cancer. It can also lead to complications such as preterm birth and low birth weight in babies, something that I'm familiar with. Oral disease can also spread to other parts of the body. And sometimes if oral health can, if routine dental care can look at oral health and look at problems and pick it up early, it can prevent other serious complications from occurring in other parts of the body. And also, as Senator Chandler had said, poor oral health will interfere with a lot of things, such as eating, sleeping, speaking. And if your teeth hurt, you can't work and you can't go to school. Nationally, 51 million hours of school are lost by children because of dental disease. When children have toothaches and have infections in their mouths, they can't pay attention in class, they can't keep up with their classes, and they're not able to flourish, become the people they were meant to be, they cannot become the great workforce that we would see them become, and they just can't self-fulfill themselves. With adults, the number of work hours that are lost because of dental disease is triple that of children, and there are 164 million workforce hours lost every year because of poor oral health. If you ever try to work with a severe headache or a cold, you know how hard that is. When it's tooth pain, it's impossible to concentrate on what you're trying to do. The 34 community health centers, or CHCs, throughout the state with dental programs play a crucial role in bringing care and services to those most in need. Together, our community health centers serve more than we have in our centers, at least 40,000 patient visits per year. Community health centers are dedicated to serving all individuals regardless of their ability to pay. CHCs keep communities healthy by providing access to necessary dental and medical care that would not otherwise be available. Community health centers provide a disproportionate amount of care to mass health members and therefore face a disproportionate share of funding shortfall due to the low reimbursement rates of the mass health. These reimbursements are insufficient, as you can imagine, to cover the cost of care and low levels at which they are set. They often threaten community health centers' ability to keep our facilities open and to continue to meet the health needs of the Commonwealth's most needy. The closure of any of one or of our dental programs would result in thousands of Massachusetts residents going without needed preventive and restorative dental care. 